There she is, Fan. Spanish Red, a proud American who came in last week to defend the flag against Palestina. She has got the flag on her arms and the fans are behind her 100%. Palestina says Spanish Red, in choosing to help Americana, has chosen death. This grudge match has all the earmarks of an all-out war. The terrorists versus Spanish Red, White, and Blue. Motormouth Mike Morgan in the broadcast booth monitoring all the moves and maneuvers. Palestina on her prayer rug. What God these terrorists pray to, I shudder to think about. Palestina lashes out at Red. She considers the Latin beauty a traitor and she's out for blood. I have never seen Palestina matter, and she may push Spanish Red too far. Mark my words, that ring is a pressure cooker for this one fan. Palestina continues to verbally and physically abuse her opponent with those vicious kicks. But don't count Spanish Red out yet, fans. She can draw with the best of them. There's one there. They're swearing at one another in their respective native tongues. One wonders if they can even understand one another. But they can certainly understand the sentiments involved if not the specific invective. A slashing kick to the belly of Spanish Red. Appalling that someone like Palestina could consider anybody else a traitor. She is certainly punishing Spanish Red for her imagined transgression. Punishing me to the chest there. Spanish Red fighting back desperately and successfully. Both women taking terrible punishment from one another. Palestina down now. Spanish Red recovering. Look! Both of them taunting each other from their knees. I've never seen anything like this. Palestina is doing her best to keep Spanish Red off balance. She's felt the sting of her drop kicks before, and she doesn't want to feel it again. Grabbing the hair, covering the hold from the referee with her body. The referee catches it, however, trying to break the hold. And Red fires back, unloading with both barrels. <laughs> you couldn't keep her down long. He's got her up. Oh, and look at that. What an airplane spin. As if Palestina wasn't dizzy enough already. Bang, down to the mat. These are two of the toughest fighters around. They used to team together, and they know each other's style. Both aren't afraid to get down and dirty. Flinging <laughs> each other back and forth, barely getting up in order to grab a hold. Uh, Palestina applying the sleeper hold, trying to cut off the oxygen supply. Look at Look at her, that vicious look, gritting her teeth and turning it into a smile. Look at her smiling. She loves to dish out the punishment. Red struggling for air. She may be passing out here. What is happening? No, no. Now she has got Palestina by the hair, trying to break the hold, and she does. She works her way out. Not quite yet. But finally, yes, she is free. Spanish Red pounding on the terrorist. Powerful two-handed blows to the midriff. Oh, this has been a grueling battle all the way. But these two wrestlers seem to thrive on pain. Slamming Palestina down again. Spanish Red now seems to have a clear advantage, making the terrorists beg for mercy. 
Oh, she hurt her poor elbow. Her own pain seems to bother those of others does not. And isn't that typical of the terrorist mentality? And look, look, Palestine is fighting. She'll do anything it takes to injure Spanish rent. The ref breaks it up. Both are tiring from the fever pitch they've been going at. It hasn't been a technically strong match, but an intense one it is. Palestina clearly has her fans in the audience. One wonders how they got to this country and how we can get them out. Is she trying to fight again? It's hard to tell from this angle, fans. No. She's got Spanish Red on the rope, but trying to pull her free. Spanish Red clutching on, losing the grip of one hand, and now both. What is Palestina up to here now? It looks as if she's trying to lift her, lift her, yes indeed, for an airplane spin. She's got her grip locked. It's just like one of those planes she hijacks. And she explodes it just as painfully. Oh, and now a foot to the back, kicking her while she's down. You wonder what keeps these two going. Man, they hate each other so much. They're willing to go beyond exhaustion, mere exhaustion, to try and do the other in permanently, fatally. As I said, there hasn't been a lot of scientific wrestling, and it hasn't been pretty. These two are going at it like a couple of wildcats. One wonders what sort of gibberish the woman is saying. Ah, and Spanish Red smashes Palestina. Down to the canvas. Palestina has been clutching her shoulder throughout. Ah, Spanish Red has a good foot to the stomach. And she smashes her with a devastating cannonball. Now she's giving Palestina a taste of her own medicine. With a vicious, vicious chokehold. Red has now taken the upper hand. It's a brutal seesaw battle, and I have got to admit, I don't know how much longer they can keep going. The ref is trying to break up the chokehold. And finally succeeds in doing so. A powerful deal from the feisty Spanish Red. Palestina is down. Now Spanish Red is screaming at her grabbing her by the hair. She pounces on Palestina like a cat. Both wrestlers have got to be tired now. For the first time, Palestina may even be too weak to bite her way out of a hole. Red keeps on the attack. I don't know where it's coming from. And it's that, that inner reserve she found last week when she saw the flag being desecrated and sprang independently into action. Palestina now has Red up, but who has who? It's hard to tell. Red has Palestina on the rope. Really struggling. And up. Spanish Red is up and slipping Palestina down onto the mat, slamming her head down painfully. Palestina is going to have a headache to end all headaches after this bout, fans. She feels it coming on now. Excedrin headache number 95. Both women still screaming imprecations at one another. Spanish Red now has Palestina. Painful grip, painful grip, and yet Palestina seems to be recovering from strength, trying to bite, trying to bite that flag virtually off her arm, reversing the hold. Now Palestina has Spanish Red. A quick elbow to the midriff section. A half Nelson. Possible chokehold here. Is the ref watching? He does break it up. And now, a terrifyingly painful wrist lock. Transferred into a slip. Down she goes. Palestina's fatigue becoming more and more obvious, requiring the rope to help her to her feet. How she keeps going, I don't know. But she is still full of anger. Red 
waiting patiently. Says, come on, come and get me, you terrorist animal. Now, Spanish Red has Palestina up. She's carrying Palestina around like a hunter, showing off his skills. And she's spinning her and finally dumping her over the rope. No, she isn't done yet. She isn't done yet. She's got her up again. Look, Palestina trying to bite Spanish Red, but Spanish Red gives her a little cucaracha, a little bump and grind, and tosses her right out of the arena onto the concrete. But Spanish Red isn't done yet. She's going out after her. Oh, and she slams Palestina's bed first down into the concrete floor. Both of these two fighters are going at it like a pier six draw. The ref is counting them both out. They don't even seem to care or know. There's only one thought on their mind, and that's pain. What they're experiencing and what they want to inflict. A vicious blow by Palestina, virtually at the feet of the audience. A low blow indeed. This woman will stop at nothing. The bell has rung. The match is over. But they're still going at it. Look at these two scrappy women. Both girls are counted outside the ring. Both girls are counted outside the ring. Counted outside the ring, but certainly not down. Certainly not over. This is the grudge that will continue, I can promise you that, fans. Both girls have been counted outside the ring. And it's Red trying to fight now, using her opponent's vile tactics on her. They're calling for hotel security and a good thing. These two women need to be separated before the battle can spread into the audience, hurting innocent bystanders. Those security guards had better watch out for their own safety with these two. 